Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome to my balcony. I'm going to be showing you some new things in my balcony today, along with that little guy there that I'm going to introduce you to at the end of the video. But I want to show you some new plants that I have here, some new growth. This is a bonsai tree that I've created out of a Portulacara Afra variegated uh, elephant bush plant. And I thought that jade elephant was just perfect for this plant. This plant I actually is part of a gallon size uh, Portugal Car Afro that I purchased and divided it up and created this bonsai out of that one gallon piece. Now this is a succulent dish that I created not too long ago and the main succulent here is the Hawarthia viscosa that's growing tall there in a the stacked uh, variation and you can see all of the little pups coming out the side when I first got it from uh, Mountain Crest Gardens it had I think three now it has five and the ones it did have are growing even taller my Echinopsis rose quartz is blooming for a second time. It has such a brilliant color to it. But this is the newest addition to um, this cart here. And it's a Crassella platyphylla, I believe it's pronounced. It has a brilliant, rich burgundy color. And it even looks like it's getting some flower stalks to it. So I'm really anxious to see how that will bloom. Now this one, um, this pot here is the, my San Pedro cactus that I had propagated not too long ago and it's getting some more arms growing out of it. But I had it in a corner where it wasn't getting a lot of sun so I brought it out and put it towards the front of the balcony where it can get a lot more sun. And the bottom of the pot looked very bare so I added some of this ice plant which is very common here in Arizona. It's used a lot in landscape as ground cover but I'm using it here to fill in some of these pots also this sticks on fire pot I put some at the uh, base there to kind of fill in the bottom of the pot and give it a little bit more structure and some um, even more color to it Now this little guy here is an Opuntia, Opuntia cylindrica cristata. It's a crested version of the Opuntia cylindrica. And you can tell by the name of it, this is how it normally looks with the long spires up. But I have the crested version and you can see a, some more growth on there with the brighter green colors on there. It's really a unique looking plant. Um, I'm always looking for crested plants. I just think they are so unique in, in a garden. These And these are my lithops. They have finished splitting and I have um, taken away the outer shells that have dried up and started watering them. Very little bit of water, but um, they have finished splitting except for that one gray one there. Uh, that one's still going. But they did really well. Um, they all survived their new growth. Now this here is my Royal Flush Split Rock. And you see those little teeth marks there? I thought that I had uh, some type of rodent, a cat or something that was um, eating my split rocks. But then I saw my new puppy trying to take a bite out of this one and I realized who it was and had a little talk with him immediately. On my glass shelf here, I have a Domino's cactus or an Echinopsis subdenudatum, I believe it's pronounced. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a while and I finally found one and I put it in the perfect container here of a toilet mug. Yes, I got this at Goodwill and it is actually a coffee mug. Don't know who would drink out of that, but that is a toilet mug. And back here, I purchased this um, Semper Vivum Sebanese at, for a dollar at Lowe's Clearance. Can you believe it? It looks like the mother plant has died off, but it had shot off so many babies, so many pups in the process. This thing is just encompassed by uh, little pups. So I put it in this container here with another Sebanese that I already had to see if I can just get it to 
fully fill in this container and it is a hanging container wall hanging container and I'll probably hang that at some point so there you have my newest additions and new growth to some plants and succulents here in my balcony garden. Rosie is loving this warmer weather and I wanted to introduce you also to our newest addition, um, our new little puppy Sammy. We just got him from the Arizona Humane Society and he is making life <laughs> a new adventure for us and even Rosie seems to be getting along well with him which is was a worry for us but if you like this video friends please do give it a thumbs up your support is so much appreciated and if you're not subscribed already please do so and make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos thanks so much for joining me today friends have a blessed day